Okay, so I've been asked to do a couple of fixes on this car. First is that this door trim here has um, well, completely come off. It's, um, it's made up of the two bits that go in here. One is this bit of um, seal, so which I think is for water. Okay, and then on top of that, this slides in here and fits it all up together nicely. Now what I can't quite work out is how this fits on. I think it clips around in some way. Uh, that's back to front, Henry. So I think this clips around here and possibly even squeezes in there somehow like that. Okay, so that has to fit in there somehow. And then the other one goes on top, but I don't see how they either they, either they fit together um, or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this one. Oh. I'm going to glue the one inside the other like that. Okay, so super glue it in. So it's one piece again. And then having done that, I then need to work out how to connect it up to these. Um, which again, these look like at some point they've had some sort of glue on them. And I'm not sure which is top and which is bottom. But again, I think I might just use glue and see if that does it. I don't want to, you know, pull that off trying to work it out. So I think that's what we're going to do there. And then the other bit is, um, this was the first bit of painting I did on this car. Here, and it, um, well, I did it a few times really to try to get it right. I never did get it right. Um, but I've been asked to give it another go because I've got a bit better at painting now. So we're going to give that a bit of a sand to try to flatten it out, we'll clean it all off and um, then we'll take it off and I'll, I'll take the um, this front cover off and then we'll give it a go at painting. So that's the idea. So we've got a couple of things to do and um, we're going to start with super gluing and some cleaning and sanding. So we um, have applied super glue and we're trying to stick them together um, and once that's done we'll go on to the next step. Um, in the meantime we're going to get out the sanding block, clean down and have a little look at that front bumper. So that's um, nice and firm now. So that's the first stage. Now I need to find an appropriate glue to um, fix the fix it to the plastic in the, the plastic brackets. And I think I mean I just used up all my super glue, um, but I think I'm going to use super glue again because uh, I don't actually have any plastic glue. I think that's probably the best way to go and we'll try that. Okay, so when I applied this, I didn't think it was going to do the trick, but it seems to have done. I think it was going to come loose with the super glue. Uh, but that seems to have worked, so that's one job done, um, which I'm quite happy with. That uh, saves it falling off and all that kind of stuff. So the door's usable. So now we can um, look at the painting side of things and so I've scrubbed this down so that it's flat and I know it looks awful but that now I can't feel any bumps although I mean it looks like we've got some hazing here um, oh, maybe I can feel it now that I can see it 
when I do it and oh, blast and a bit there as well okay so I've got a bit more sanding to do here um, to make sure I've got it but actually it's feeling a lot better than it was um, so clearly some here still though um, and some here by the look of it but we need to get that flat so a bit more sanding there and do I need some around here yeah I can feel it more maybe I need to go down to I'm using 320 so maybe I need to go down to 240 um, Oh, blast. I thought I was there. Okay, so we're sanding here. This bit's clearly okay. It's just in here. We need to get rid of these hazes, otherwise it's just going to come out again. I suppose I could put some high build primer on there to build it up and do it that way. Um, we'll sand a bit longer first and see where we can get it to um, before we decide about that. So sanding in progress okay a little bit more sanding here and I mean when it's wet I can't feel anything so it feels good um, I need to just check that that's okay well, it needs to be good when it's dry well, I've got something there I might have something a bit here that I need to do actually this all feels okay can I feel something there close my eyes mustn't let the eyes get in the way Okay, so I think um, there, I've got a bit of a mark just here, which I need to work on. Yeah, so a bit of a mark just here somewhere, and that's it. Um, so I'll just do that now. Right, so next stage of painting, we've got the bumper off. It's held on by four uh, T30s, I think, T40s along there. One, two, three, and four. It has three here on each side. There we go. One, two, three, which are the good is the mud guard um, to the bumper. And it has two on each side, which are really difficult to get at back in here somewhere. And I can't see where they are. And there's seven on the bottom. So that all came out fairly easily. And this all looks okay. Got a little bit of rust beginning to show in a couple of places here, but for the most part that looks okay. All the bolts have gone in to a de-ruster. Um, that I think must go there. Or something like that. It's only come off somewhere. Um, probably goes on, might go on here actually, anyway, so here is the upside down bumper, the lights come out, oh there we go, there are the lights, they come out with three bolts, one, two, three, and then we've got a couple of bits of plastic that come out by it, I suspect on some models that's also a um, light of some kind. We have a problem with one of the lights where this plastic bit on the edge is broken. I've got part of it here but not the whole thing so if we line the two lights up um, we can we can see that this one at the this bit at the bottom here um, it needs to glue on there somehow, but it, it won't be the whole thing. It, um, I think, goes like that. There we go. So it will go on like that. But clearly I'm missing a great big piece of plastic. And it's not here anywhere. So that must have broken off somewhere. And then the other bits that came out um, are the grill. And these just pop out. So those pop out easily and those will go back in. So, next stage now, we're going to clean it up on the outside, uh, preparing it to paint. Right, so I've given it a quick clean, 
and we've got quite a lot of scuffs along here as well on the right hand side so we're going to start some sanding there as well we're going to pick it that up at the same time try to do the whole thing okay it's getting a bit late we're going to try to get two coats on this tonight so air compressor to get it dry tack rag then on with the paint so whilst the air compressor is prepping up I'm going to go mix the paint. Okay, that took a little more paint than I had planned. Just got one coat on there. Um, not perfect. But um, it's not too bad. Can't see runs along there. Haven't quite covered it top corner there. So I must make sure I do that with the next coat. You can see some of the dents still, but I wasn't taking those out. Again, along here, this is where all those scratches were, and I just gave them a quick rub. Really highlights the scratches it does when you paint it. That's why you have to get it nice and flat. So, um, well, not too bad, but a couple of runs, I think. And this is a direct to gloss paint, which we're trying. Um, Hopefully, hopefully it'll be okay. Okay, we have a second coat on. Can I just say painting black in the dark is not easy. Because you really can't see where you've painted. Um, but, uh, so I think I've got a couple of ones here. Um, but I think it looks better than it did. And going across and I've still got paint left so actually it wasn't taking as much as I thought um, so I've done two coats got some paint left I'm going to give it another 10 minutes and then I'll put that on um, yeah so we're almost there and then I get the pleasure of cleaning up but as you can see I mean look you've got pretty good reflection coming out of it at the moment which is really what I want as me so you know um, my reflections aren't quite so good here I guess it's a bit better here so uh, yeah so I've clearly some bits a bit better than others but um, well it is what it is so um, I think that looks better and hopefully my son uh, won't tell me I'm rubbish. So that's um, three coats, one in the dark, I cleaned up everything and, it, um, and pulled this in. Um, I have seen one or two runs in there but I don't think it's too bad actually. So. Yeah, we'll see what it looks like when it's back on the car really, that'll be the big tell, but hopefully that's alright. Okay, so we're going to start putting it all back together now. Here's the um, fixed light, this is the bit we glued on. You can see there's still a bit missing, but that seems to be holding at least. And since it was holding without it, that's fine. So um, we'll put it all back together now and hopefully get it on the car. Okay, that's it finished, so it's back on. It um, looks okay. I mean, it's blacker than the bonnet, which needs a clean. A um, couple of runs in there. Uh, but a decent reflection in most places. Uh, so a decent gloss finish. So... Um, there we have it. You may recall I painted this door in the summer. And it doesn't look that bad to me still. It just doesn't look as good as it did. So when I painted it, I then, um, when I painted the back over here, I then ruined my paint job here because um, I was doing it in the garage and didn't have enough extractor fans to get the. Um, clear coat out and 
you have to pull the tape off before, after the 10 minutes of the last cover of the clear coat being on there. And it hadn't completely settled and then it went and settled elsewhere. So um, it was on the windows which we had to clean off and stuff like that. Now this might actually come back from more um, compounding. Um, because I've compounded the top a bit, but you can still see it's not quite so good. And uh, I have not particularly done here. And that might be the right solution, but I've been asked to paint it again. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to compound it. Well, I've been asked to do the bottom here as well, so and that's never been painted and, and does need it. So actually... Yeah, I'll just do what I've been asked to do. Um, clearly means he's relatively happy with the job I did at the front. So um, that's the task for today. Uh, just as a reminder, I will add in um, the paint job I did earlier and demonstrate how satisfied I was with it at the time. Well, that's two coats. It's enough paint for the third one, at least on the door. Got a little bit of a problem here. Well, I thought I'd got all the water out and I haven't, so got a water issue here. And then I got a couple of runs in the door as well. So quite a big one there. Another one there. Still. Um, That's, you know, that is, does that reflection there look like? Yeah, it's not, I don't think any better than it was before particularly. Uh, but it's a bit brighter. <laughs> anyway, that's what it is. So that's three coats painted. I think I've got some orange peel in here, I'm afraid. So a bit of orange peel and a bit of runs, not not great. Um, but uh, that's what it is. So we're stopping on that. And just need to fix the handle back on and we're done. Um, Probably needs to leave it to dry for a day, two, to harden off. Uh, although I think he might be off in it tonight, so we'll see. Anyway, so that's it for this episode. A quick detour from the MG, which is back there. And we'll be back on that hopefully this week. <laughs>